Hello everybody, how are you doing today? This is Bruce, welcome to the channel. It's been a little while since I uploaded a video and uh, it's just because I've been a little busy with my real day job, moving, uh, moving services here in lovely, dreary, cloudy, chilly Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> Uh, so we've been pretty busy, but anyway, I wanted to do a quick video here and go over one of my, let's get situated here, just go over one of my sets here that I found, not a set, but a box of cards, <clears throat> uh, 1994 Topps Baseball Series 2. And I didn't, I don't really know how many come in series two or where it starts, but this particular box of cards that I have, which is not complete, this particular one starts at around 397 <clears throat> and goes up to about 888, but there are a bunch of cards missing. However, I was able to pull a few heavy hitters. And I wanted to share those with you. So these are the stacks of cards that I have. Um, over here we've got only a couple of the 800s. We've got about four of the uh, cards numbered in the high 300s. And then I've got a pile of uh, 400s, uh, 500s, 600s, and 700s. So what I did basically was just went over to our good friend eBay and I took a look at Topps 1994 baseball cards and was able to pull up a few heavy hitters. Like I said, there were some other <clears throat> big hitters that I did not have, but I did get a few a few good ones and these are all in pretty darn good shape so uh, what I did was I went to the highest amount sold of course they're all gonna be PSA's PSA graded cards and I as I do with my comic books I go ahead and look at the cards as if they were already graded just to see if it's even going to be worth me doing anything. And then if I feel like I have a good card or something that's in really good shape after I analyze it and I say, well, it's probably worth me sending this off to take a chance and get it graded, then I will do so. So um, I don't know if you guys do the do it the same way, but that's how I do it with my comic books. And I figured... That's how I would be doing it with these. So these are all in pretty good shape. Like I said, I have not really analyzed them a lot, but I'll go ahead and share them with you. So we were able to pull, I believe, three of these Ken Griffey Juniors. They are not the Tops Gold Series. They just say Tops at the top. But if these were to grade at a PSA 10... They would come back at 82 bucks. So I don't know if it's worth getting these graded or not. Uh, I still haven't, I still haven't really looked into what the price is for grading. But if it's only like 20 or 30 bucks, I mean, I, I probably would not get these graded. But I ended up with three of these, and at least it gives me uh, something. To uh, gauge gauge these cards at next one, which I think and you already see it on there, so I guess we cannot keep it a secret. We have Bo Jackson, and if it's a PSA ten, it would be at about a hundred and forty, and I ended up pulling one. Two, two of the Bo Jackson cards. Again, have not really looked at them to see how they look. This one looks 
pretty centered. This one up here um, looks like it's just a little heavy on this side, but overall the cards still do look pretty nice. And PSA 10, 140 bucks for both of those. Next one we found was Tony Gwynn, and this was a lower valued card. If it were to be graded a PSA 10, it would be worth $50. This one looks fairly centered, might be a little heavy on the right side where my thumb is. <clears throat> Maybe not, might be pretty centered. But I was able to find one two, and three. Three of those Tony Gwynn cards from Topps 1994. Next we do have, I guess this is uh, Topps Black Gold, I think. And there were several different types of this card. Um, I think the highest valued one had like double the amount of players on it. This is one of the lower valued one, but if it was graded at a PSA 10, it would be $56. Still not a bad find. Uh, by the way, this set was part of, <clears throat> I already did a video on some of it. It was part of a very large collection that a guy traded me uh, for services. And I think total out-of-pocket, if I remember from the video, I added it up. I think total out-of-pocket, I, I only paid technically by the time I paid for my, my guys and stuff. I think I only had about 120 or 180 out-of-pocket. Uh, that's if I'm working for free. So... I got a whole bunch of cards. A lot of them were from his dad's. Looks like some of them could have been from him as he may have been starting his collection. But that's where these came from. So if I only have, let's just say, let's just say 200 bucks invested in these. And this is just one box that I had out of, I think, a big tote. I had a big tote with several folders uh, several binders, I mean, um, a couple, couple miscellaneous cases, so on and so forth. But I think I, I think I did good. <clears throat> uh, PSA 10. Here's another one that I found. Barry Bonds. If this was a PSA 10, this would be worth about 68 bucks. Once again, pulled this out of this set. And last but not least, we have Andy Van Sickle, I think. Sorry if I botched that up. If it was a PSA 10, it would come out at about 90 bucks. So that is it. That's about all I found out of this Topps 1994 set that I have. Of course, there were some other good cards that I didn't have. I think Nolan Ryan was a big, big money card out of this. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, shoot. I don't, there was one other one, but I, I don't remember. Um, Don, Don Mattingly, maybe. <clears throat> yeah, that was another high value card. But that's it for today. Just wanted to give you that quick video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Keep checking out the channel. Uh, look at my past videos if you don't mind. If you want to see how I kind of got started in collecting these uh, sports cards as I really just started this January of 2024. But have been accumulating cards for many, many, many years and just now kind of diving into a bunch of them. So check out my other videos. Also, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. 
share this if you would it really helps out the channel really would like to get the subscriber rate up a little bit uh thank you very much for the sports card community you guys have been great love the questions uh the comments uh you guys have been very good and i appreciate you have a great day thank you very much